State. My name is Matt Livingston here with your Campus Weather Service forecast for April 9th, 2013. Let's get right in it. Here's a nice live shot of the Arboretum. You can see right now, uh, as you can tell probably from the past few days, it's been very warm, 61 degrees today, and it's only around 7.05 in the morning. Right now the dew point's at 48, so it's decently dry, but that will change as we go on throughout the day. Visibility is currently set at 10 miles, and right now we have partly sunny skies. Take a look at current Doppler radar, pretty much verifies the exact same thing. As you can see, pretty much nothing going on. Uh, we had some uh, blips of showers moving through. Uh, they moved through State College a little while ago, then pushed out east, nothing really big going on um, in central Pennsylvania. If we zoom out to the whole state, you can see that the image is pretty much exactly the same. We have uh, just some showers passing off to our east. Right now it's largely clear, and it look like, looks like we're going to stay that way for most of the morning and midday hours. However, these things could change as we get into the afternoon. If you look at the national radar, you can see that we have a massive storm system out in the middle of the country right here. There's blizzard warnings up for places in South Dakota, Minnesota, and Nebraska, and Iowa. So that's definitely something to look out for. And there's going to be lots of severe weather on the front of this storm. As you can see, there's a pretty large temperature gap right here. This system is pretty large as well. It's causing rain all the way down into Mississippi, all the way down through the Midwest. And it will be headed our way for later in the week. It's definitely something to look out for. Now if you want to check out current temperatures real quick, as you can see, 58 in Stormstown, 53 up in Du Bois, Tyrone is sitting at 61, Huntington at 67, um, Beach Creek at 62, Jersey Shore and Williamsport both at 57, and Mifflin Town is the warmest at 68. We zoom out to the entire state now, as usual and as expected, Erie with the coldest temperature at around 42 degrees. Uh, Pittsburgh sitting right now at around 55. Johnstown at 58. State College, a nice balmy 61, great for this time of year. Um, Harrisburg at 54. And Scranton is actually the warmest in the state, sitting right now at around 62 degrees. If we get to zoom out now the entire country, you can see the massive temperature difference taking place right now over the, uh, the northwest of the country. Bismarck is sitting at only 14 degrees in the middle of spring. Meanwhile, Omaha, still in the northern section of the country, at 56. That's a huge temperature difference. Uh, very chaotic weather going on right now in the center of the country. And that's all headed our way for um, later tonight and tomorrow, Thursday and Friday. Now here's our future cast model, the eye on the future. You can see that uh, today starts out pretty clear, nothing much going on until later tonight when we have this uh, very small disturbance come in. It looks like it's probably just going to be a result of some daytime. Nothing really to get excited about. The same stuff we've been dealing with the past two to three days. Um, you know, it's mostly clear for the most of the day and then you know at night it gets cloudy with a chance of some rain some lightning in the area no big deal however Wednesday is when things start to turn up a little bit right now we have um, what looks to be at around uh, the evening hours 9 p.m. a pretty large band of precipitation that comes through it looks like it's probably going to be some kind of thunderstorm some kind of thunderstorm activity will be occurring uh, in State College around that time Rain's definitely going to be heavy. It's definitely going to be something that uh, disturbs the day. It's definitely going to be something notable. And this uh, kind of pushes its way out Wednesday night, and uh, we have more precipitation. It's going to move in on Thursday afternoon. As you can see, clouds have firmly grasped the region. There's um, the weather we've been experiencing the past couple days, as great as it's been, is unfortunately going to go away as we have clouds moving in and we have rain coming in. And as you can see, the um, future cast is predicting some mix, actually, in the northern areas of New York. Um, in some northern, northern areas of Pennsylvania. I don't think it's going to mix um, anywhere near our region. There's definitely no risk for any kind of serious mixing in our area. However, it just shows that the temperature will definitely cool down as we go throughout the week, especially in the Friday and the weekend. Now, if you look at tonight's forecast, we can definitely see that we have some isolated thunderstorms in the area. The, uh, the temperature tonight will only drop to 55, which is pretty nice. We'll have a nice west wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. The chance of thunderstorms, I would say, would be around 10 to 20 percent. It's pretty low. Uh, as you can see, most of it was concentrated to our north, but definitely don't rule out the chance of some thunder or some lightning tonight. And as we look towards tomorrow, we can see that the temperature will be up to 75, a nice day again. It should be clear uh, during the, the early parts of the day just as it is today. However, towards the evening hours, you get a much more certain chance of rain. There's definitely a very good chance that we see a thunderstorm tomorrow, if not a heavy thunderstorm that lasts into the night. So it will definitely be something to think about, and the winds will be southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour, feeding some warm air in to get those thunderstorms going during the midday hours. 
Now, if you look at our seven-day forecast right now, um, looks like it's taking an unfortunate trend uh, for the temperatures at least. You have a warm warmer day with showers uh, today, 73 degrees is the high, 57 for the low. For tomorrow, you can see some evening thunderstorms, definitely um, it could be long-lasting with heavy rain, uh, high of 75, low of 54. For Thursday, there is a chance of some thunder late in the day as it stays warm, so the precip that comes in on Thursday could still provide some thunder and lightning, a high of 71 and a low of 52. For Friday, we'll just see some minor showers with a high of around 59 degrees, just the remnants of the storm system we've been dealing with uh, through Wednesday and Thursday, uh, high 59, low 40. For Saturday, uh, the sun returns again, but not with the warmth that we had before, with a high of only 53 degrees. And it should stick on through the weekend, high 57 on Sunday, and Monday looks like we're warming back up into the 60s with a high of 63 and sunny skies. That's all for today. Have a great day, Penn State.